Hey, Mike Cameron here. Cameron Academy of Real Estate, number one real estate school in Central Florida. Cameron Realty Group, young millionaires. Do you have the mindset of an entrepreneur? Let's get into it. All right, Care family. We're done with the text, but how you guys feel? You guys feel good? Yes. You guys enjoy class? Yes. You guys care? Yes. We care. You guys gonna pass the first time? Yes. State exam the first time? Yes. No pressure? No. Proud of you guys. How you doing? Mike Cameron here. And I have to unfortunately hold my phone right now because my, uh, my device that kind of sits on the dash and sticks there, uh, the dash got really hot and it just basically melted off. Florida heat, what can you do? It's actually a beautiful Florida day. And this morning, not a cloud in the sky, partly cloudy now, but unfortunately in other parts of our nation, it's not doing so well. And we know what's transpiring in Houston. And if you watch the video, yesterday that I posted, I wanted to make a difference. So I started off by donating to the Red Cross. Cameron Academy of Real Estate, we donated $1,000 to the Red Cross. And we put the link on the comment section of the video. So if you wanna donate, it's the direct link to the Red Cross website. Donate what you can. I mean, I think that's the least we can do. There's other organizations you can donate to. Uh, that's, that's gonna be your journey and whatever your choice is. Uh, my journey is going to be a little bit different. I also mentioned that I wanted to go to Texas and I wanted to help at least with the evacuees. And they don't want us to go inside Houston right now because it's still flooded and they have professionals that are helping people out and evacuating families. And I really want to get in the thick of it. I'm going to try to get to Houston, but there are shelters, there's mega shelters in Dallas. A lot of people are evacuating. They're providing transportation to Dallas for thousands of families, and they're expecting about 5,000 individuals to be at this shelter, and they need a lot of volunteers. So I'm going to help out. I'm going to try to go to Walmart, Sam's, whatever I can, buy as many uh, goods as I can so I can distribute if families have children. I have a young son, so I know there's a huge need there and maybe they didn't have enough time to prepare all that stuff. Maybe they think didn't think it was going to be that severe, but it ended up being uh, a lot more severe than anticipated. I mean, the amount of water is unimaginable. So I booked my flight and one of my future videos is actually going to be from Texas and hopefully I'll get some shots of what's going on just to keep you guys updated but kind of changing gears a little bit the video today that I want to discuss is all about the mindset of an entrepreneur now some people are born with this but I'm not saying that it can't be taught and it does take time to develop but you have to make that decision first you got to stop blaming people you have to stop pointing fingers you got to take responsibility for your actions you spend your life saying oh the system the man this and that but really it's ultimately you it, the change is absolutely within you got this TV sh uh, show or is it a movie it's a series a documentary called the secret and it's the power of attraction but that's truly what it is you if you don't attract that in your life if you are scared of money if you're if money makes you mad because of what money brings then it's not going to be in your life okay i'm not going to want to be in your life if you have that attitude towards me so what do you think about money and the people you surround yourself with that have money they want to be around positive, optimistic individuals. So you got to change the way you think. It's it's really does. It's an internal process that starts with you. The first step in becoming an entrepreneur, I wish it was an easy one. I really wish it was as simple as telling you, oh, this is what it takes to be an entrepreneur. But it's so much more. But it does start with you. So you're going to be a drop in the ocean if you spend your life trying to fight the system. But you got to just change the way you play the game. So it starts with that mental focus, that decision that I want to become successful. Now, what do you define success as? That's another thing, too. Your, your, your success is defined as what you, you want it to be. If that means helping people, then help as many people as you can. And that's being successful, obviously, in your book. If it's making a lot of money, uh, then make a lot of money. But kind of another part of this video is philanthropy 
I've just had a conversation with one of my students. And in this uh, graduating class, I got about 35 students in the morning, about 35 students in the evening class. And one of the uh, conversations we had was specifically that. If you really want to make a difference, and it was a young girl. I mean, this girl was, was so young. She's uh, 21 years old. And she has this mentality. If you want to make a difference, then you, I mean, to truly make a difference, you got to have the funds to do so. Now, you could disagree with me, okay? But it's just the world we live in. Money's always going to be a part of our life. So she, think about that mentality at a young age. And, and I don't know where she got that from, but I'm pretty sure that was an internal thing that she came up with. So philanthropy, the secret sauce is caring about people. But once you actually achieve success, you got to give back. You have to. I think, I think it's a necessity for us. But you can't help people that don't want to be helped. I'm gonna let that sit in for a, uh, for a second. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. That's why the people that are on street on the street right now that are panhandling. I'm so happy Buddy Dyer did what he did with the change of laws for panhandling, because these people unfortunately don't want to be helped. There's so many government programs. You could disagree with me. You could absolutely disagree. With me, but I've seen these programs, and if they have faith, there's so many faith-based programs that take care of these people that will welcome them in with open arms and, and provide help them get back on their feet. I mean, even overseas, I mean, missionary, I've been on missionary trips and I've seen it firsthand. So there, there's, there's absolutely no excuse for the world we live in. And uh, it, it really just starts within. So make that decision today. I feel like there needs to be a part two to this. But um, I, I've lived with people that just do that their whole life. And I don't want to be surrounded around those people. I don't. I, I don't want to be around people that live their life, you know, telling, telling me how hard it is. Yeah, of course. Life, life is hard. Life is hard. Okay? And I work for every single cent that I've had. I work for... If somebody told you they did it without hard work, they are lying to you. And even to this day, I'm busting my ass. I am busting my ass. And I'm finding time to give back. I'm not making excuses. So let's not make excuses for ourselves. I think that's where it begins. Okay, and uh, the next step, and it's a big one, I, I really wanna save for another video because I, I don't want this video to drag on. We're already at seven minutes for this video. I'm gonna put a little shot of my graduating class we just finished uh, the textbook today and we're gonna do some review tomorrow and some really good stuff and a lot of places don't include that but I include I think it's good a review of everything we've learned throughout the two-week session prepare them for the state exam send them off into the sunset with uh, that optimism that they can pass and you can pass too if you're interested in getting your real estate license you can pick a better time Okay, I got agents that are doing extremely well. I know friends, family that have the real estate license, all doing extremely well. Florida, one of the top places to invest in the nation. You can do research on that and confirm from it. Forbes magazine has listed us. So there are huge opportunities here. And the only way to take advantage of those opportunities is to be ready. How do you become ready? Get your real estate license. And you would be making a mistake if you didn't come to the number one real estate school in Central Florida, Cameron Academy of Real Estate. We care about you. With that being said, we're signing off. You can call us at 407 Cameron. Once again, that's 407 Cameron, C A M E R O N, or uh, 407 251 0051. And we're located in Central Florida, South Orlando. Okay, so come and see us, and we'll help you out and get you back on track. Those of you who are existing real estate licensees, come and see us for renewal. We'll help you out with that as well. Uh, pray for Houston. Uh, people in Houston, we are praying for you guys. Okay, us Floridians, we're thinking about you, and including this guy right here. Okay, so you touched my heart. I've seen what's going on in the news, and I'm in a unique position to help people now at this point in my life. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The wife, uh, myself, my son, we're all going to uh, Dallas, and we're gonna try to wake our, make our way to Houston. And we encourage you guys to help out in any way you can. And uh, you don't have to do it for me, do it for Houston. Uh, with that being said, signing off. Have a great day. God bless. Stay positive. And young entrepreneurs out there, keep your head up. Change the way you think and change the game when you can. Okay, but for now, play the game differently. Take care. Bye. God bless.